Hello everyone. Today's question of the day is based upon arithmetic progression. The question is, there is an arithmetic progression of 380 terms. The 50th and the 345th term of the progression are 500 by 7 and 1000 by 7 respectively. Denver added 14 terms after the series in such a way that the entire series is still an AP with total 394 terms. Find the sum of the entire AP of 394 terms. So ultimately what we have to do is find the sum of the entire series. You must be knowing what is the sum of an AP. Sum of an AP is it is determined by multiple formulas. One of them is n upon 2 a plus l. This formula is applicable when I have the number of terms n, the first term of the AP a and the last term of the AP. Another formula that we use is n upon 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. This is when I have the first term, the common difference and the number of terms. Basically, this formula is derived from the formula at the bottom only. How to do that? n upon 2, we can write this 2a as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Now this a plus n minus 1d, it becomes the last term and a is the first term. So this formula comes up n upon 2 a plus n. Now we'll check which formula to use over here. See, we have an AP of 380 terms first. After that, I appended 14 terms. It is still an AP of 394 terms now. Now, let me tell you something. See, when you come across an AP, for example, if I take an AP 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16. So what you see is this is the first term, this is the second term, third term, fourth term, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. So what you see here is, if you find out the sum of the first and the last term here, 2 and 16, it is 18. If you find out the sum of second and the second last term, that means second and seventh term, it is 4 plus 14, again 18 over here. Similarly, if you do it with 6 and 12 over here, that means third and the third last term, it is again 6 plus 12, 18. So we'll be using the same concept over here. What we have here is an AP of 394 terms now in which I have been given the 50th and the 345th term. So when we were doing this, we were seeing that sum of first term and the first term from the last. It is 18, then second term from the beginning and second term from the last it is 18. Third term from the beginning, third term from the last is 18. So what I can do here is if I try to find out sum of 50th term from beginning and the sum of 50th term from end then I'll be getting this a plus l thing. I hope you get it because a was 2 here in our series l was 16 we were getting a plus l equal to 18 and we were getting it for second term from beginning, second from last, third from beginning, third from last as well. So similarly, if I can find out 50th term from beginning and the sum of 50th term from end, then I'll be getting nothing but A plus L only. This is the only point that needs to be understood over here. Now I know the 50th term from beginning. It has been given to us as 500 by 7. We have been given this 345th term as well. So if I try to find out 50th term from the end, then what will it be? Let me tell you, if you are given an AP of M terms, if you are told to find out nth term from the end in this AP, then that will be equal to M minus N plus 1th term from the beginning this is very important over here so similarly if i try to find out 50th term from the end in an ap of 394 terms it will be equal to m will be 394 now because i have an ap of m terms so 394 we are trying to find out the 50th term from the end so it will be 394 minus 50 plus 1 which will be 345th term from beginning and we have been given the value of 345th term from the beginning it is 1000 by 7 so i can say that the 50th term from beginning it will be 500 by 7 the 50th term from the end will be equal to 
1000 by 7 because ultimately we are getting it as the 345th term from the beginning. So now I can easily find out the sum. I have 50th term from the beginning here. Let me change the color. This would become 500 by 7 and 50th term from end would become nothing but 345th term from the beginning. This would be 1000 by 7. It is given to us. So now I need to apply this formula and upon 2a plus l. So we have 394 terms and upon 2a plus l it will be nothing but 500 by 7 plus 1000 by 7. Now you can easily calculate this right. This point needs to be understood well over here. If you still have a doubt please ask Ken.